that sucks. What? Am I blind? Am I just not seeing it? Do I get one of those? I guess I'm getting one of those. Fuck me. Oh, they have those guys. No, I'll just fucking deal with that. Jesus fucking Christ. breakfast burrito and that's my hand and they didn't have any fucking goddamn Modelo fucking chilada so this Bud Light one will have to do mm. ham egg hash brown bacon delicious um I'm having a really hard time because um, I'm trying to write Horrywood and I'm getting to the point in it where I'm in Oregon, in Eugene, Oregon, where like my film making really started. And uh, one of the things about that period in my life that was so important to me was um, the relationship I have with my kid and um, my kid was in between the ages of two and three while um, we were up there and that was such an important part of my kid's life and my life and I didn't know how to go about so I'm probably gonna do a video about this tomorrow after the emotions are subsided a little bit but every time I think about that period in my life I get really emotional like um, like I love the adult that my kid is now and I'm so proud but the, like that period was so just fuck man like anyone who says like the terrible twos or the troublesome threes or anything like that they're full of shit that was the best best fucking time best time ever just being able to be there when your kid's first learning to like communicate verbally and wants to know what everything is, you know? It's such, it's such an exciting uh, time. <clears throat> And because of um, how much that does to me, like what that does to me, I never wanted any more kids because I felt like if one kid did this to me, to my heart, <clears throat> that I don't think I have enough heart. I don't have enough space in my heart to go through that again. <sighs> but man, me and my kid, we were like tied to the hip, man, everywhere. So basically what I'm getting at is I've been having a really hard time writing the next chapter because um, like that whole period of my life, I just equate to parenting 
and like everything else I did up there, whether it was film or music, was way secondary. And uh, so I think the only way I can move forward, since this is kind of a fictionalized retelling of my life, is to take that part out and um, not talk about the parenting side of it. And maybe just do like a whole other book when I'm fucking emotionally stable to do so, where I just talk about um, raising my kid. Um, yeah, I, I, I can't, I can't do it. I can't, I can't tell the story in the fun, like graphic, ridiculous way. <laughs> And still cut back and forth between, like, what it was like being a, a new dad, you know. Uh, it's too much, dude. I can't do it. So, I guess that's what I'm going to do. So, I guess I'll do a video about this tomorrow. A bunch of workers. Not working. They're having fun. They're dancing. Oh yeah, look at that place. I love that fucking building. Um, no, I am out of everything. And I don't have any cigarettes. And I don't have any beer. And I guess I'm just going and getting some stuff. This coming up here is one of my favorite little views of the neighborhood. When you look between these two buildings and you see that scary church down on Occidental. Fucking love that. So I'm gonna get some bread and some beer and then go to 7-Eleven and get it. cigarettes and then I will get to work on videos and I had a lot of weird dreams last night that made me think of things that I needed to do or could do. She's back and she's back on the street. But yeah, that chick there, she's the one that went out the I have just recorded the 10th video for the day. I'm fucking on one right now, dude. Maybe it's the espresso. Maybe it's the instant coffee. Maybe it's the chilada. I don't fucking know, but I've always wanted to be able to get a giant batch of videos done in one day, and I have now done it. So now I'm going to edit as many of these as I can and schedule them out because I have a ton of orders to ship out tomorrow, a ton. So I would like to get as much of this done as possible so I could start getting those fucking packaged up because this is, this is gonna be a, a heavy trip to the post office. It is 8.18 in the PM. I have been doing videos all day and editing and scheduling and posting 
I'm fucking done. So I'm packaging up um, orders and stuff right now. And somebody ordered um, Madness, which is my 16 page mini zine. And this is what it looks like when it's just a piece of paper. And now I'm going to show you how to do it. In case you didn't see the video where I do that. Is that about right? That's about right. And I'll just go ahead and do this one too since I'm on this side already. That's about right. That's about right. That's about right. Yeah, I think that's good. So when you're done with the cut, it should look like a W or an M. Okay, and so now you fold. So you're gonna go with that cover and fold that. And there you go. Now I used to glue these, like because as you open it up, you know, the pages turn and everything like that. But then you'll get this, but the pages still turn. And I used to glue all of these, but I kinda want people to be able to unfold it and figure out how to do it, so in case they wanna do it themselves. So I don't think I'm gonna glue these anymore. Um, but yeah, so that's how you cut and fold a 16 page mini zine. so I can mail that. digging doing these um, 
there's a part of me that finds doing like vlogs like these really helpful for me to kind of talk through my thoughts. Um, but talking through my thoughts also keeps me from writing my thoughts. So I think what I'm going to have to do is see like after like a month of this or whatever, like to look at my writing and see if I find it kind of dull or kind of uh, not as raw as uh, it usually is. Because if that's the case, then I just have to write before I do these. Kind of like that whole thing where um, I would have to write before talking to my therapist kind of deal because my therapist would suck all the good shit out of me. But I don't know. So let's see what we're having. I think first, first item up for bids is going to be <clears throat> the very few um, tater tots from fucking Go Go's Tacos. Dude, that place was so fucking good, man. If you're ever, I'm sure there's more than one. It seemed kind of like a chain, but um, I don't think I've ever seen one before. So maybe that is the only one. So I guess if you're ever in, what would that be considered? Is that considered East Hollywood right there? I don't know if that's considered East Hollywood or if that's the um, tippity top of uh, Koreatown. That's not Koreatown. What is that? What is that? That has to be Hollywood. I assume that's got to be Hollywood. And it's not Filipino town, so I don't know what the fuck it is. So, whatever. Go Go's Tacos. If you're in LA, look for it. It's good as shit. Tacos are delicious. The tater tots are the crispiest tater tots I've ever fucking had. Ever. <sighs> what else are we having? I guess I can make some eggs. I have corn tortillas, but I don't have any big flour tortillas. You guys watching me bend over? What the fuck, man? So a couple things right off the bat. Um, I don't know... <clears throat> I'm really excited about this poetry tour. I have no idea how it's going to work. Like, I have an idea of how I would make it work. But that doesn't necessarily mean that that is going to be the thing that makes it work. So, oh, this tobacco sucks. I had to get a bag of Red River because my um, OHM order isn't going to get here for another like week. So, kind of sucks. But anyway, so there are no lighters here. <laughs> so, um, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do with that. There's also some ideas I have about other stuff. And I feel like I need to up my marketing game since I talk a big fucking talk. And... Like, at the end of the day, it would be good for me. I just don't know... I don't know why I don't do it, but... I'm thinking of doing, like, Facebook ads. I almost said fucking MySpace ads. What fucking year is this? Fuck. No, I'm thinking about doing Facebook ads again. Um, I did it a long time ago, and had varying success and with Facebook ads you have to be on it all the fucking time like you can't just like set something and then go fuck off for a couple days like you need to be checking it and seeing like what your cost per clicks are and what your fucking um, impressions are and all this shit you know 
what um, audiences are working, stuff like that. Because I have my own writing, and then I have Poetic Anarchy, I don't know which one I should do a fucking ad for. And I mean, technically I could do both, but it's just like, how much money do I want to spend to figure it out? And regardless of what a lot of you might think, I do take care of myself with my writing and all of my ancillary things from it. But I, I don't have, like, enough money, like, pouring out of my ass to be able to fucking do this shit. You know, I'm still, I'm not a starving artist, but I am a, I'm an artist that gets by, let's say. I would really like to do a little better than get by. So, <sighs> I gotta up that game. Oh shit, I have a free pizza from Domino's. I will order that. And I will have that with my um, tots and eggs. Shit, do I even want the eggs? I'm gonna put the eggs away. Because I'm gonna just get a pizza. Because it's free. A free pizza. So maybe next time I do one of these videos, it'll be me telling you about all the fucking baller ass shit I was doing with ads and stuff. But if you guys have like questions about shit, um, let me know. Like there is no stupid questions. It's just people being afraid of fucking asking them. Uh, so... Yeah, let me know if you guys have any questions about anything, how to do things, how to, um, like, what you want to see me do videos on, shit like that. Um, and other than that, I'm just going to fucking eat, add this video to the rest of the vlog video, and then I'm going to fuck off because I've had a rough fucking week. So, peace out, kisses, hugs, bye. I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Crew and my followers on Patreon. I appreciate the hell out of you guys. And thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the crew or the Anarchy Crew, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.